Happy Thanksgiving. Hey. Hey. Uh, what are you doing here? I thought like the whole town was at your house. As good a reason as any not to be there. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I cooked enough if you want to stay. Uh, that's okay. Uh, I'm on my way to the store to pick up some stuff anyway. You missed the grief session. Yeah. Didn't really see it being helpful. Thought maybe you were upset or something. Oh, um, I appreciate the concern, but it's not like every suicide reminds me of my mother. I mean, I'm always thinking about her anyway, and I, I didn't even know Matt, so. Good. Well, I mean, good that you're okay. Jack, I live with a father who doesn't talk and a sister who never says what she means, so I, I'm kind of an expert in non-communication, and I'm sensing that you didn't come here just to check up on me. I was wondering. I mean, if somebody knew something about your mother that you didn't know, would you want them to tell you? Yeah, definitely. You don't even have to think about that. No, it's an easy question. What if it was something bad? I mean, not bad, but something that you might think is bad. It doesn't matter. I miss out on another 30 years of knowing my mother and anything about her, even something stupid or bad would help make up for that. And besides, I'd never stop loving her. No matter what. Hey. Hey. Look, uh, I was a dick last night. Yeah, you could say that. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just going through some stuff. Well, maybe if you told me what it was, you wouldn't have to be such a jerk. It's complicated. Oh. So without a 4.0, I might not be able to get it, huh? That's not what I meant. Why are you emptying your locker? I quit the team. What? Why? Oh, is that complicated, too? You ask me, you spend enough time alone already. That's probably why I don't have any social skills left. No, that's not it. Well, what the hell is it, then? I can't be around people right now. Now, I can't be around you right now. Why not? What? I'm a dick when I'm around you. I become a dick when I am around you. Gee, thanks. It's not your fault. I can't explain it. I just... Something's happening to me, Jack, and I don't understand it. And I can't stop it. And being around you and Missy just makes it worse. What, are you, like, jealous of me or something? No, not of you, of her. Her. I. I think. I think that I'm in love with you. Oh man, um. I'm sorry. I mean, I'm not. No, I. I know. I like girls. I know. I, I tried to stay away from you, okay, but. It, because it was easier than hearing that you didn't feel the same way. I thought that if I didn't tell you, that, that I could just hope that maybe you... Oh. Have you tried talking to your parents about any of this stuff? No, right. As it is, I'm not near perfect enough for them. My dad will go ballistic. Well, there are counselors and things you can talk to about this. I'm not going to talk to anyone else about it. What's the big deal? It's 2003. Not in Missouri, it isn't. It's not that big a thing. My uncle's gay. So is Marcus's cousin. No one cares anymore. They can't help me! No one can. I'm sorry, I even told you. Get off me, okay? I'm sorry. I really think you should try and talk to your parents. And I really think you don't know what the hell you're talking about. Hey, Callister, come on. Coach is waiting for you. <laughs> 